vlog if you want to. We can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't vlog, and if they don't vlog, well, they're no friends of mine. Hello, YouTube world. And, more importantly, five other members of the Six Awesome Canadians. I'm still trying to figure out how just to position everything today. So, there's a shiny spot at the bottom of the screen. I can't seem to get rid of that. There. I realize there's a bullseye right in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> like here! <laughs> okay, so, <coughs> I'm actually a lot better this week. It doesn't sound like it at the moment, but I am. And there's about a million and one things I wanted to talk about. So I have been writing notes the whole week, listening to all your vlogs. It's like, oh, I gotta type that down, make sure I remember to mention that. Rosie, I wonder whose list is longer. So I'll just give the... I actually just went through it and weeded it out. These things that, that really doesn't make sense and that, that doesn't... What, what was I talking about? I don't even remember half of them, so I can even delete that too, because that's a repeat. A few of those. Okay, it's a much shorter list now. So, um, first off, Mireille, thank you for the well wishes. I, uh, I do feel much better. And it was... It's a nasty case of pink eye, worst they've ever seen, but I kicked it. Four days of antibiotics. And the funny thing is, when I was a lot younger, I used to have ear infections all the time, and they would put me on the antibiotics, and I never had a good reaction to them. They would, they messed with me, so... <laughs> Maybe I should have mentioned that, but nothing, no, nothing adverse happened this time, so I was happy about that. Um, next, I'm going... I, Mireille, I also have a friend that went to the Science and Technology Week, um, Nathan. He, um, this kid blows me away because he's a flipping genius. He really is. Just everything he can, can do and to think up and, oh my goodness, just, and he explains it in such a way that I actually get it. <laughs> and anyone that knows anything about me knows I'm kind of a technology newbie. So he explained uh, his point of sale, POS, I think it's point of sale, service to me and how it would all work with an iPad and it would be so much cheaper and it'd be awesome yet he'd still make a huge killing of profit. It, made, it all made sense and I'm not even going to attempt to explain it to you guys because I'll butcher it. And then when it comes out and he makes trillions... He's going to look at me and say, what the hell did you say? Actually, I'll probably say it a lot nicer than that. Um, uh, Romeo and Juliet. I didn't get to act in English class. We listened to the tape, and we read the books, and that was it. And then we watched the movies. Oh my goodness, I hated the movie that they showed. It's the one with um, Leonardo, what's his name? DiCaprio and, and someone. It was set in like the 90s. It was bad. I just realized I used like. I don't like it when people do that. Because I'm the one that at the staff meeting was like, okay, I really don't like it when you say I seen him yesterday to the children because it teaches them improper grammar and we're supposed to be helping them learn the English language. Not slang. It's not really proper. And I, I kind of got shot down and no one liked my idea of actually learning to teach them correct English. Saying I've seen that before instead of I seen you yesterday. <sighs> so I know I'm guilty of screw ups sometimes so I'm trying to fix mine so I can be a better example because I'm there I'm probably the person who's there the least. Actually no, there's one person who's there least uh, less often than I am. But other than that I'm the one that has the least contact with the kids. So kind of pointless. Um, on the other hands, of, um, about the staffing, oh my goodness, Tuesday night, t Tuesday night, it was the most intense and, oh, what a staff meeting. Didn't get home till 9, 9.30, something like that. It was long. Like we started at 5.30 and it was an hour, two, two and a half hours, I don't remember. Uh, it was two and a half hours. So I didn't get home for around nine. Um, it was it was brutal. And then there was a there's a mandatory sexual abuse workshop on the fifteenth, and that should be interesting to see how I, I I deal with that because I don't know how many of you 
how much I've disclosed to either of you, but I was assaulted when I was younger, so it's be interesting to see if that brings any new memories that I've buried. Because I seem to have a knack for that. Someone will tell me something that happened in my past. It's like, oh, didn't remember that. I have no flipping clue, but I trust you, so. And other times it's like, oh yeah, I remember that now. Wow, that makes my childhood look like really shitty. <laughs> but, wasn't that big of a deal, obviously, if I can't remember it until someone tells me about it. Of course, now it doesn't go away, but. Never look at ice cream pails the same way. Um, so that's that. That's my next month. We were going through reaccreditation, so work is just oh, everything is get this done, get the paperwork done, make sure everyone is prepared. It's gotta be all ready and be perfect and better than that. Because if we don't get accreditation, we lose our top ups, and our top ups mean some staff wouldn't be able to afford to drive into work. I know. I would be feeling like shit because I'd lose a lot. I mean, I, I counted that. There are some people that uh, weren't even going to work for the daycare until they found out about the top up. So that's that. Um, I'm going to be doing the relay for life if I can get the paper signed, which will be nice. Um, I'm doing it for a lady I work with, her mom, and I'm doing it for for me. I'm my grandfather had prostate cancer, so for him and just I don't know it's a cause I feel a strong connection with um, so that sums up my list other than that I'm ready to strangle my mother at some points because I was all ready on Wednesday to leave work early go into Grand Prairie which is the closest city poppycock to us it's half an hour away because we had to get into AMA before 5.30 so we could get my credit card thing sorted out for my trip so I don't have to carry around $1,000 cash because I've been doing that for the last week shh <laughs> don't like it it makes me feel awkward um, and she spent 15 minutes in the gas station five minutes yeah you, the gas was getting pumped maybe five minutes after that but no she spent 15 minutes in there and she came up with four things of drinks and that was it. And I was kind of not angry at her at all. I refuse to be angry. And anger would show that I care. <laughs> let's, let's be apathetic in this situation. Like that. Um, I've realized I've basically hit the eight minute mark. So I'm going to wrap up now. And say, um, love you guys. I miss you so freaking much. It's not even funny. Every single day I have an encounters moment. I have our Anthony Carpenter moments all the time. I have Rosie moments. I have Alex moments. I have Maddie moments. I have Mireille moments. I have freaking Kelly Thompson moments. It's like, oh, they just mentioned Lady Kaka. Kelly! It's the only thing I can think of. I have moments for every single person. I walk down the street and I think I see someone from encounters that I wasn't even particularly close with, but I just, I recognize them. It's like, oh, oh, it's not you. Oh! No, never mind. I walked in this hallway. I thought I saw people. It's like, <laughs> I never even noticed half these people in my school before, and now I'm just thinking they look like people I care about. Damn, that emotional response. Why do I have to get attached to people? Anyway, toodles. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to bow. So we take our right hand, make the fist, and cover it with our left. So right hand goes to about waist height, cover, Maintain eye contact, and down. So, fist, cover, bow. And before I forget, this has been an encounter with Alberta. Hurrah.